Herman from Balanced Catamarans. I'm here in Annapolis, Maryland at the Annapolis Boat Show. We just had the Catamaran Amoya sail over from South Africa up to New England and she came back here for the show. This is hole number one, so I thought it was just a quick walk around of the boat. We're in the cockpit and one of the features of this boat is that you have three excellent lounge reading areas on the boat. Underneath all of these seats, you have big storage lockers. We have a built-in uh, barbecue and grill area with a sink. This is an electric uh, barbecue on this boat. It's lithium-ion batteries, so we're a propane-free boat, this particular boat. Uh, and generally speaking, most of our owners do that because it's a safer boat. Uh, we have, of course, our signature Versa helm, which is in a down position. Big feature of our boats is looking through the laminated glass windows without distortion. They won't they won't craze. They have great visibility. This window slides. The post here have been removed. We carbon fiber reinforced the whole ring frame. All of our doors are made out of carbon fiber composite, so they they're not like stainless doors that'll rust. They're not like aluminum doors that get painted and shipped. So from a quality perspective, they'll hold up really really well. Uh, we have a cockpit fridge here as well on many of our boats. It's a big cockpit fridge, which people really like for cold drinks and things like that. So this is the cockpit of the boat. We think it's, we've really got it dialed in. Let's go take a look at the main salon. We have a very large U-shaped galley. We believe in a large, deep, single sink, which we make ourselves. It has a uh, adjustment. We make these metal, um, uh, plates ourselves so you have drying plate holders and utensil holders for drying really cool feature on the boat um, the table on this boat lifts over to become a coffee table someone wants it's also designed to drop down we have a cushion of the same size so this becomes a large lounge or bed it's wonderful when you're passage making because one person can be sitting at the Versa helm and somebody can be sleeping here if required so that if anything is going on at night or you need to make a sail change, you just have to walk over and tap them on the shoulder. It's really a good feature for couples that are sailing their boats. As you can see, when you're standing here, you have superb sight lines. When I sit down in the saloon, many people ask me, why do we raise the plinth up about six inches? The reason we do that is so when you're sitting in the boat, you have sight lines over the deck. Big part of balance is a having superb visibility at all, 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 all places when you're walking around the boat. And if it's really nasty weather, you can actually sit on that side, with your legs out, the remote autopilot, and steer the boat looking through it. On many of our boats, we have a television on a rack that turns, and you can put the charts on it. In this particular boat, the owners didn't want a television set. Over here in the galley, we have, you know, great countertop space. This is an a electric convection oven. We have a stove, convection stove here. We have a nav station that can, these cabinets were um, added by the customers. Normally we have a seat that goes here, but people can both have this with drawers inside. Um, that's an option uh, that people can have. We do a lot of cool things that balance. One of them is to have a wonderful tool storage box. Nice place to have the tools on the boat. We also have our celebration drawer where you have the knife and cheese um, plate and things for wine and champagne. It's kind of fun. We have a uh, Vitro Frigo uh, four drawers can open. People ask, are they fridge, are they freezer? Wonderful thing about these is you can all be freezers. They can be fridge, freezer, all free, all fridges. It's really a customer choice. The countertop space for people to lay out food and things like that. Immediately when you come down the stairs in the port hall, we have um, pantry for the kitchen. Pantry spaces, super important. huge on having a pantry for a kitchen and a catamaran um, and we feel that keeping out the clutter is really important and you can have a nice tidy you know really pretty looking boat.
I'm down in the port hull of the Balance 442, and I'm in the port master cabin. So you have this lovely athwart ship bed. Got plenty of headroom to sit up and read at night, even if you're really a tall person. The owner of this boat is um, six feet, seven inches. If you see over the bed, there's a port that's open there. The reason for that is that above the deck there, there's a big deck locker. You can keep that open even when it's raining and air is blowing through the boat because we also have a window at the very back of the boat that opens up underneath the stern step so that you can have circulating airflow in the boat. We also have on, um, on the boats a sail locker. We have a lot of goodies in here for the boat, Joe, but this is a big sail locker. There's a size 60 deck hatch here that you can easily get a spinnaker in and out of and lots of storage and then the escape hatch is here on the inside. So this hatch can also be open and water can come down because it's a wet locker. One of the things about boats in this size range is that particularly on the port side is many of them have very, very little cabinetry. Um, so each suite really needs to be comfortable and have storage. So we have four big drawers here. We have cabinetry on the outside and then we decided to put in a big hanging locker here as well. And these cabinets are uh, made out of foam core panels we get from Europe and then we uh, laminate them with real wood veneers. We give our customers six choices. This is uh, Zebrano, Zebrano wood, but these are very, very light panels. As everybody knows, I have a strong feeling about the capacity, storage capacity is really big on a boat and being able to store your clothes and your food and your things without turning the boat into something of a camping experience. As I walk aft in the boat, on my right side, we have the daggerboard trunk. And on the left side, we have the combined shower, walk-in shower, toilet and sink, which is shared by the forward and aft hulls. I'm in the aft port hull uh, cabin in the boat. So you see we have a large window over the back stern step. There's a, a ventilation hatch underneath the steps. You can leave that open, as I said, in the rain, which allows the air to come flowing through the boat. We have storage cabinets all the way along here. We have two storage cabinets here. And then on my left side, um, we also have two storage cabinets. Now I'm in the starboard uh, hull of the Balance 442. And this is the owner's side of the boat. So this is the owner's bed. Um, same opening port there, same opening hatch over the bed. But we also have a walk-in locker on this side of the boat. So you can walk in here all the way up to the bow and you have storage area. You can store lines and things. You can turn this into a wood shop, an office, whatever it is that you want to do with this space. Have a size 40 hatch above with steps. And then also you have the escape hatch here. Um, this is a great space for you know storing things, hanging lines, organizing it however you like. Similarly, on the starboard side, you've got, on the port side, you have lots of drawers. You have a large hanging locker aft, more storage. And then as we walk back, you have the privacy door for the owner's suite, which I just closed. And then behind here, for those that want, we have a washer dryer. This one here is the Splendid version. A linen closet underneath here. This is where the daggerboard trunk is. More storage. And this boat has, as you can see along here, multiple drawers and lockers. There are actually six drawers right here that the customers asked us to add to the boat, the normal boat. There are shelves that go across, but they asked us to add these six drawers. I think that there is more storage and cabinetry here for people to live on than just about any boat of this size. And that's in part because we do build the cabinetry very light. We have access on the inboard side to the uh, spectral water maker, so it's very easy to, to operate and work on. We have the um, one of the Victron Quattros inside here. And we also have our electrical panel. 
our electrical panel, everything in our boat is labeled carefully. Everything is labeled carefully. We really believe it's important that people have instructions where they can get them and labeling where, where, where anything is. And that's also true of everything under the floorboards. As I go further back, I'm entering into the aft shower toilet area. On the inboard side, you have an electric freshwater toilet. You have a sink with multiple lockers, drawers, lower cabinets. Behind here, there's more storage in a small way. And this panel also lifts out so that you have complete access to the Vectran cords that operate uh, the um, mechanical steering system of the boat. Uh, the lines come down from the VersaHelm with two chains and they immediately go to a Vectron and they turn over the uh, racing sprockets. Like all of our boats, because we run the master uh, berth forward athwart ships, we're able to have this luxurious aft uh, shower wet locker is what I call it. Uh, two people can sit down and shower together. You can put wet clothing in here. Everything is uh, fiberglass, so it's wash and wear. Have this window here that opens up under the stern steps. You can leave it open pretty much all the time. Uh, behind here we have access to the um, black water tank. Uh, everything is accessible on the boat, and I have to say I love this, um, the shower space on these boats. So now I'm going to do a, a, a deck walkthrough of a Moya. So I'm up here at the Versa Helm. I have the helm in what I call the reefing position. We have it down fully in the 90 degree position. We have it up here in the halfway position. Not quite halfway. And then you can also bring the helm up into this position. It's nice when it's in this position because you have easy access to the stoppers and the lines. Like all of our boats, we're sticklers about controlling the spaghetti factor. So we have line boxes for everything. You just stow your lines in these boxes and keep things nice and organized. I can operate pretty much the main, the jib, the topping lift, uh, the two main sheets, uh, two reefing lines. Um, pretty much everything up here I can single hand, the main and the jib on the boat. It's really nice because with the, the dual main sheet system, when you're driving down in the blow, you can ease out the, uh, the windward sheet and bear off and have the boat in complete control. Um, and of course, as people know, I really, really do like the uh, two main sheet system, the V-boom, if you will. Um, it gives you excellent control. The boom isn't banging around all the time like it is with a traveler. It decomplicates it and you can get much better sail shape. When you're sailing off wind, you, you can attach them to the outboard side to triangulate the sail out further and get really, really nice shape. Here by the dagger board, a lot of people ask, how does the dagger board work? There's two lines, there's an up line, and another line here that's a, a down line. Very easy to operate. Um, you can put them on the winch if you want. Um, many people don't need to, per se. Um, these boards are highly foiled, 35% um, camber boards. When they're down in the down position, and you're pointing on this boat, you're making very, very little leeway and clipping on at a really good speed. And compared to a production keel cat, you be sailing seven degrees higher in the wind and making less leeway, which is a huge advantage. Also, you'll see I've got these handholds here. These, we built in um, these so that we didn't have to attach handholds. And then we cambered the um, rooftop so that we can collect water um, if we need to. So if you see in an emergency, if your water maker isn't working, we have uh, holes and plugs here. You can take a, a hose out and put them right into the water tank, or you can fill up jerry jugs. Just let it rain for a while, clean off the, clean off the top, and catch water. You see as well that there's great passageway here. I'm six foot one, no problem moving forward on the boat. We designed the rig with the lower a little bit higher. And we did that by putting two spreaders on the mast rather than one, so that it's an easy passageway up the deck. We pioneered the new dual Longeron system, which again, other people are copying. Thank you, we appreciate that, we're flattered. Uh, this system is great because it allows us to bring the trampoline up high to the deck. So you have, look at this distance down, it's very, very short. 
then if you want to access the anchor on the boat, you just lift this up, your bridle is attached here, you set it, attach your bridle, deploy it, and raise the winch very, very high. The windlass very, very high in the chain locker, so you get great chain drop. You don't have the chain piling up and having to push it out all the time. Works really, really well. Of course, we also have a hose here for freshwater wash down, so if you want to wash the anchor, you can do that. As on all my boats, uh, all my boats in this sort of size range, I have a self tending blade jib. Very tall blade jib enables you to tack the boat by just turning over the wheel. You're not wrestling lines from both sides. Um, it offers uh, superb performance, particularly when you get into the higher wind ranges because the blade enables you to carry the sail in closer than you can on a coach top sheeted deck. So in medium to strong wind ranges, you actually get better wind performance than you do on an overlapping Genoa. On this side of the boat, on the port side, you see how large the hatch is. This is a big size 60 deck locker which is required for ease of getting out the uh, screecher or the spinnaker from the sail locker. We have this small opening port for air ventilation into the uh, shower area on the port side. And of course, as people know on our boats, we like to raise our solar panels in composite frames that we make, which are very light, get airflow under the, under the solar panels, and each of them has an individual regulator. We're finding that they outperform uh, even their ratings uh, from the glass panel manufacturers. They're just absolutely fantastic and functional. I'm at the mast here. So on the mast, you basically have your uh, jib, which is attached permanently here um, because it's staying up most of the time, but you can raise and lower it here. You have the uh, screecher halyard and the code zero halyard. These, all, all these extra lines can go down in the line box. You can also put the lazy jacks down, climb up onto the coach roof. We have a fish bone that you can hold on to anytime you want. Um, I'm six foot one. It's very easy to zip the sail bag up and down, and it's quite easy actually to get to the halyard on the boat. I'm a big uh, bugaboo about that. We do that by lowering the boom and raising the clue of the sail so that it uh, clears the sun bimini when the boat is sailing. Many people ask us, well, why don't you have a dodger on the boat? Well, with the Versa Helm boat, you really don't need a dodger. If the weather is foul, you pull this top closed, tilt the wheel down and sail down below. What do you need up here? You only need one thing, sun protection when you want to have it. So we have this drop back um, uh, bimini, which can be adjusted. What's really neat about it is if the sun is coming in more in front of you, adjust it to tilt more forward. The sun is coming from behind. You can tilt it back with the adjustable straps to protect yourself from the back. It really works. It's super easy to do. And um, that's it. You need cold weather protection. You need sun protection when you're sailing a boat. You particularly need the sun protection when you're sailing in the tropics.